let's just spend a minute looking at SAP's total integration. Good, let's look at the SAP integration. Then we're going to look at HCM integration in SAP. And then we will go and look at each one of the sub-modules that are part of the HCM module. SAP is totally integrated, and that we can see depicted in this picture that we have here. Now, this picture shows a lot of functional modules that SAP has available in the, in the marketplace. I will just talk about three of these to demonstrate the point. We're talking about the human resources module, the financial module, and the controlling module. They all share the same employee data. Of course, the human resources or the HCM module establishes the data and set it up. The controlling module will then budget based on the salary that a person has. And then after that person has been paid for, the financial module chart of accounts will actually associate that money with any one of those accounts so that we know what's happening there. If we look at this schematic from a different angle, we will note that the data that we actually have in the background is associated with the SAP modules through the SAP ECC module. So not one of these modules have direct access to the data. For that, you will notice that if HR actually establishes an employee's information, it goes through ECC and stores it in the database. Now, before we can pay a person, we have to have a budget for the person. Now, CO or the controlling module is going to use that same employee with the same salary, salary and everything, and it will budget for that person. Then we go ahead. Human resources do the necessary steps to do the payroll, and then it will be recorded in the financial module, uh, as you can see. But all of that is recorded in the same database using common data. From a practical perspective, we can see this is the employee that has just entered the organization. Which organization? Well, this is the company that recruited this employee, and this employee is now filling the position of chief of HR. And the cost center, too, is the cost center that has budgeted for this person. So we have this person now uh, being used by three different structures, and we will see during the run of this course and the next courses how this will play out. If we take a look at the SAP screen, which is delivered with SAP, as the so-called GUI screen we spoke about before, you will see when we open the screen or we sign on to SAP, you will see that we get the SAP menu coming up and we will address a few of these items here. The ones that we just spoke about are living in the accounting uh, line here and in the human resources. Now we will dive deeper into the human resources module here and we will look at all the different sub-modules we have.